Look what we got here, the last of the Poe sisters. And as I said, this this one has a very different pattern. Now I gotta concentrate because that first cycle is sort of difficult. Oh, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, it's this one, yeah. Uh, what, what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to take a close look and when they appear... Uh, one of them is going to spin around a bit. This is the real one. The others are fakes. If you shoot them, they're, they'll just disappear. And if you take too long, you're gonna get attacked. Okay, so you wanna keep doing this. It's not very difficult. As I said, it's the first cycle that's a bit more ambiguous because it's done from a different, less friendly camera angle, and sometimes you won't see shit at all. I got lucky there, I managed to see a few frames of the real one uh, turning around, so I got lucky, and five hits, she's gone! So, now we have restored access to the remainder of the dungeon since we killed all four of the Poe sisters. So this elevator that's supposed to bring us down to the, the penultimate room in this dungeon. You can see the boss door over there and there's a switch to, uh, to gain access to it, but you can't press the switch right now. So what do you gotta do? Push this thing in order to make the floor move, or maybe it's the rest of the room, or... I honestly don't know. Um, but anyway, well, you wanna have the floor move clockwise, and you're gonna get... You're gonna gain access to two uh, small alcoves. One of them has nothing. One of the one of them has the switch that I just pressed. And now, what you gotta do? You gotta repeat this three more times, I believe. And after that, you're gonna be able to go to the boss. Not the most thrilling thing ever. By the way, if you're hearing the <laughs> yes, there's a gold sculpture in this room. So try to check everywhere in order not to miss it. So, gotta continue pressing switches and stuff. Push, push, thank you. And now, this time I don't think it's gonna be... Nah, still gotta push it one more time. We've got a Sculptula over there, and I think the golden one is in the exact same outcome. Yep. So, I'm just going to kill it. This is the last one in the Forest Temple. All five temples have exactly five gold sculptures, by the way, just so you know. And what's in there? A few arrows. Well, I, I was full, I think, so completely useless, but whatever. Uh, now, I, thi I, I think now uh, this is the last time we're going to have to do this. Now we have access to the switch, which is going to open up the boss's room. So, now that this is done, well, let's head over there. Uh, by the way, speaking of the boss, there's a trick to the first form of that boss that I think not many people know. And I'm going to show it to you, um, when I get there. So you want to go up those stairs, but no matter what you do, you just can't seem to trigger the boss fight. So you got a U-turn, head back the way you came, and then you get the cutscene. Yeah, it's... It, this thing actually stumped me for a little while when I first played it in this game, and oh my god! We're fighting Ganondorf, folks! This is it, the end of the game! <laughs> nah, just kidding. It's Phantom Ganon. So, first form of Phantom Ganon. He's gonna go with his horse into one of those paintings. He's gonna, tr he's gonna come out of two paintings. One of them is fake, one of them is real. Now the trick is that the real one is going to be a little... No, th this is the right one. If you notice, there's a bit of a difference uh, in where they were in the painting. Uh, the real one is going to be a little further to the left, while the fake one, which is going to U-turn, went once it reaches the limit. I think this is the right one. No, it's not! No, it's not! Oh my god, oh my god, where is it? Get out of the way, Link! Please! Please! Oh! What a waste! Anyway, yeah, that happens when um, when you fail to uh, get the correct one. I think this is the right one. Is it? Is it? Yeah, because even though I know of this trick, it's still sort of difficult because there's not too much of a difference between the two in order to make it really painfully obvious. So, okay, this is the right one again. Okay, so second form. 
I'm sure we're all familiar by now with the boss pattern of TENNIS! And, yeah, this is what you gotta do. You gotta use your sword or an empty bottle if you have one in order to... Whoa, will that miss? Will you just stop moving around? Ow! Oh, come on, you saw me swing! I, I should have gotten that! Come on! And again! Oh, my God! This is just not good. And look at the camera angle! It's not helping me at all! And I keep missing on top of that. Ugh. Oh! Will you just please connect? And will the camera please take a better angle? It's... Do you see that? It was partially covering up the damn... And now I'm, I'm being comboed! This boss is not hard! Trust me, it's not hard, but I'm just getting my ass kicked for whatever reason. Mostly because the camera sucks ass! Okay. Get, let's get one more hit. And please, let it be over soon. Oh, this attack. Yeah, not very threatening. And I, it, it's very rare that you'll see him do that attack, though. Okay, so I can just, okay now he's gonna start sending it back to me. I swung the sword! Jesus fucking Christ! Talk about a fucking picky game! I gotta, I gotta swing on the right frame, just, n not just when the sword would normally reflect it. Yes! Yes! I think I got it! I think I got it! Yeah! All that was missing was one hit. If I had only one hit, one more hit on that last cycle, I would have gotten it. But, anyway, now that we've beaten Phantom Ganon, the real Ganon is going to comment on how... Oh, maybe you don't suck as badly as I thought. Well, yeah, I do! I got comboed by this piss-easy boss! I don't want to see what it's going to be like when I get to the actually hard ones. Twin Rova's first form, in particular, kicks my ass every time. Might actually be forced to use a fairy if I suck as badly as this during that fight. Anyway, I'm going to just collect the heart container, which thankfully gives me full healing because I'm at a point where I really need it. Anyway, let's get started on a little cutscene marathon here. First destination is going to be back to the Chamber of the Sages to meet up with Saria. Unfortunately, there's not going to be any reunion making out session for two reasons. Saria is stuck here as the Sage of Forest forever. And second reason! You're about to see it. She hasn't aged at all, so that would technically qualify as pedophilia. And by the way, the fact that she hasn't aged at all, it's not laziness on uh, the game designer's part. It's uh, part of a plot point that we're actually going to learn in a few minutes. And now... Saria talks and talks and talks and basically says nothing at all. And what this amounts to is basically, you know, I would have loved to have your babies, but I have a duty to fulfill. I gotta stay here in the Chamber of the Sages, even though nobody asked me if I was up for it. I didn't have any say in it, which is sort of tragic in a way, because no one asked her permission or any of the other sages for that matter. But anyway, for our troubles... We get the Forest Medallion, which, like the other medallions, does absolutely nothing. It's just there so that uh, you uh, so that you can uh, see that you've beaten the Forest Temple in the quest status screen. Saria will always be your friend. Is she talking about herself in the third person here? Probably, because when we're going to rescue Darunia, spoilers, he's the Sage of Fire, by the way, he's actually going to talk about himself in the first person. So, yeah, whatever. Anyway, what's this right next to the Great Deku Tree? <laughs> I love this part for whatever reason. Anyway, this little this little guy here, he's the Deku Tree Sprout. Some people believe him to be the Deku Tree from Wind Waker. And I personally couldn't care less because there's not much that's dorkier than a Zelda timeline and continuity debate. By the way, he just said that I and Saria broke the curse. Saria didn't do anything! She just stood there and did nothing! I was the one who beat up all the baddies! Anyway, uh, this guy here is gonna spill the beans about why 
Blink has aged, but the other Kokiri have not. That's because... Ta -da 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 -da! You are not a Kokiri, you are actually a Hylian! So that means Mido was actually right in saying that I wasn't one of them. Which pains me a little because the guy's a dick. Anyway, we're gonna get a little bit of backstory on Link. Sort of awkward getting backstory on a character who never speaks. Then again, I mean, Mario was never given any backstory. Chrono was never given any backstory. Though, yeah, I guess Samus was given backstory from the very start. Even though I like, I'd like to continue thinking of Samus as <laughs> as a mute character. I would like to wipe other M from my mind as much as humanly possible. But unfortunately, seems like was scarred for life. Anyway, just one question: How the fuck does this little tree kid who was just born know all this shit? The Deku tree couldn't have told you. He's been dead for seven years. And the Deku Tree is probably the only one in the entire forest who knew about it, because none of the other Kokiri ever acknowledged it, they ever ne they never said it. Mido had sort of an inkling though, but that's just about all. So unless the Deku Tree was reincarnated in this thing with all the knowledge and power that comes with it, then maybe I can buy it. Otherwise... It's just a plot device to, to show Link that he's not a Kokiri. Anyway, now, the, it's gonna take a little while before uh, we go to the next temple because we got lots of things to do in the meantime. And it, if you've noticed, even the three Deku Babas that were here as a kid aren't here anymore. So that means Peace truly has returned to Kokiri Forest. And the uh, giant Deku Babas and Octoroks are also gone. Now, before I move on, I just want to show you the prize that I got for, for winning that race in Lon Lon Ranch. It's a cow! Yeah, I think I told you before, though. Uh, so now that I showed you that, I'm gonna head to Kakariko Village to do some stuff. See you in just a moment. Okay, remember this uh, building and construction as a child? It, well, it became the new shooting gallery since uh, Ganondorf destroyed the old one. Now, the point of this is that uh, it's very similar to the one as a kid, but instead of the patterns being in the same order, now they're at random. So, you probably noticed by now, uh, it's not much bit more difficult, though you don't know what to expect, so you gotta be ready for anything. But it's not very... Let's play Air's Curse at its finest, folks! Just when I was saying it's not very difficult, I missed the last two! Wonderful. Okay, at least I got a second try for free since I got eight. Okay, got this one. This one's easy. If you missed this one, I'm sorry for you. Okay, so I think the only... Okay, no, we still had this one left before the other two reds. Okay, now don't fuck this up. Yes! Perfect! In two tries! And now I got the big quiver, which can carry 40 arrows in total instead of uh, 30. Now, uh, I know that this is not the, the archery test that you really wanted to see me do, but we're gonna cover it eventually. Just you wait. And yeah, this, this one was easy, but the other one, oh my god, it's just so painful. Anyway! I'm just going to get ready for next time, because I'm going to end things off here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pull out all my bottles and release all my fairies, because we're going to need those bottles for something else. And those of you who've played the game already probably know what's coming in the next video. So next time, in Ocarina of Time... We're going to go big po hunting, and I really don't feel like doing this right now, okay? So, see you guys next time.